I want to show a graft that I learned from Cliff England at England Orchard and Nursery. I modified this graft so that it uh, joins at two places. One at, at I call the heel and the other I call the toe. This makes a clean graft. It heals very nicely. And you can see here, this is after one year, how, how nice these grafts look. Now I always clean my tools with alcohol, clean my hands, keep everything really good and clean before I start grafting. And these are the tools I use. And also here's a seedling we have prepared and ready. To uh, It's a small one. This is smaller than what I usually graft. But we'll, we'll use it for the example today. First thing I do is I size up the diameters to be about the same, and then I make my cut. I start a split down either side at the, on the center line, and I peel it back oh, about maybe a little over an inch, maybe two inches sometimes, depends on the size of the material. This is a smaller one. I'll peel it back maybe an inch. And I'll give an angular cut. A nice clean cut. This part of the wood will not heal back. It will remain a flat surface. And I'll peel back. This is where I modified Cliff England's graft. I peel back the flat just a little bit and cut off the wood there. That is going to be the heel of the graft. The heel of the scion is going to rest right there. And the toe is going to go down there in the in the corner. I get my scion wood and cut off the dead material. estimate how far up I need to cut and I make a diagonal slice with my snips. Good clean cut. You can see the bud there. I want to put the toe right up there next to the bud. I want it to need to get down into wood. It needs to be white, no green. I need white wood right there. Now I come back and check out the fit. Looks pretty good. And the little flap there, I'm going to cut it off. It's going to die. So I'm going to cut off just a piece of it. At the end of it is going to die. It's going to bleed anyway. I want it to just rest right up there at, at, the, uh, at the edge. And the toe is going to be down in the V. Now the nice thing about this graft is the seam does not line up with the wood. So you have an offset that's really nice. Everything's going to seal up without any openings. I wrap it with a rubber band. This is something I get from a grafting supply house. And it's taking, I'm taking my time here. This is slow. And I tuck it in, pull it, and the next thing to come is going to be the parafilm. Now this is important. It keeps it from drying out. Give it a nice stretch. Pull it up and over. Wrap it around. And this will keep, keep it from drying out. You want to keep an eye on this. And this, this, uh, this piece, this particular graft, you, you don't want to water this for about three days. And actually, I forgot to mention, you really don't water it, want to water it before you start. Now, let me uh, show you the grafts again. Look how nicely they heal after one year. You can see that the toe has thickened up down at the bottom of the V. A really nice, clean graft. It's strong with good mechanical advantage. These are, are very good about holding together. 
and you won't even know that it was grafted in a couple of years. It will just fade right away. Make such a nice graft.